Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am fresh faced and bushy tailed for y'all today because I'm gonna be doing my PM skincare routine. It is currently 6.15 at night, which if I am home, this is my ideal time to do skincare and you'll see why as I go along. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mandy, welcome. I am 42 years old and my goal in skincare is to age gracefully. I know I'm not gonna look 20 cause I'm 42 and I'm okay with that. Aging is a privilege but I wouldn't mind looking 40 instead of 42. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. So I am here to tell you all about my routine that I do at night. Now, <laughs> I forgot to do a little preface of this in my morning skincare routine that I posted last week. I am high maintenance when it comes to skincare. I love to try new things. I am sent new things. I buy new things. I always wanna try the newness. I always wanna see if there's something better out there than what I've tried before. I have a few extra steps, maybe more than you want to have in your routine. If that is the case, I recommend a good double cleanse because even if you don't wear makeup, you should be wearing SPF every day. And in that case, you do need to double cleanse your skin, a good retinol product and a good moisturizer. That's like the minimalist routine that I personally recommend for nighttime. Mine is way more involved than that. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have washed and toned my face. My double cleanse tonight consisted of my Deviant Skincare Cleansing Concentrate. This is the Blue Tansy version. If you can see, I am almost out. I probably have three more uses of this. Oh, if you've never smelled Blue Tansy. Or if you smelled Maylin's from Blue Cocoon, that smells almost identical to this, and I love that smell. Of the two, this is by far my favorite smelling cleansing balm. They're both great though. I have a little visitor in here. He's knocking my microphone <laughs> like he just did. So you may hear him snore here in a minute, but <laughs> he's not going anywhere. Then I went in with my cleanser and my two favorite cleansers, I'm going to mention some things that I don't show. I'm still gonna link those down in the description box for you because I'm trying to get through a lot of cleansers right now that I have. There's absolutely no reason for me to buy a new one at the moment because I have so many that I need to go through. But my two favorite are the Sunita's Milk and Honey Cleanser and the Shantikai Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. I will link those down below. He has to sit right next to my microphone. So right now I'm using my Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Pure Transforming Cleanser, which I really like. It comes out in like a cream, but once you add water and start rubbing it on your face, it almost turns to a like watery consistency, but it still does the job. So really, I mean, it's Beauty Pie, so it's very affordable and I do like it. That's what I'm using right now. And then I toned with my Revision Skincare Soothing Facial Rinse, which I talked about in my morning skincare routine. I love this, it's hydrating. It is a little bit thicker than like a watery toner. I just love everything about that. It's been a good 20 minutes since I did all of those steps. Now I am gonna talk about a device that was sent to me probably two and a half months ago and I've been using it that long. I wanted to use it that long before I spoke about it and it was sent to me by Current Body Skin and they sent me their LED light therapy mask. So it comes in this bag, I'm gonna talk a minute about LED, okay? This is the mask. Isn't it so cute? It does come with eye goggles if you choose to use them. So this is a red light and near infrared light therapy mask. If you don't know what red light and near infrared light is, it is a type of therapy that has over 5,000 peer reviewed papers on it, which is huge. It has been studied a lot. And it first, from my knowledge, was studied for wound care and they found out how beneficial it was to the skin, which makes sense. If it's healing the skin and the wounds, then it's obviously doing something beneficial for the skin as well. They have found that it stimulates collagen production. It is anti-inflammatory to the skin. That is red light. Now near infrared light goes a little bit deeper down into the skin. And that is where they have found it stimulates the wound healing cells, causing new skin to form, boosting circulation, increasing oxygen to the skin. So many good things from red light therapy. Now you can go and get a facial and have red light therapy. And typically in office, 
therapy is a little bit stronger than what you're gonna get in an at-home device like I am using here in this mask. However, the majority of the studies have been on a couple of different wavelengths. On red light, it has been on the wavelength 633 nanometers. And on near infrared light, it has been on the wavelength 830 nanometers, which definitely falls into the parameters where they have found the most benefits that come from red light. Do you hear him? He's just in and out. This is, this is his home. So luckily those two numbers, 633 and 830, are the exact nanometers that are in the current body LED mask. So the manufacturer of this suggests using it five times a week for 10 minutes at a time. I know a lot of people who like to put this on right when their alarm goes off, they stick it on their face and they go back to bed for 10 minutes. I personally really like using this at night because there have also been studies that show that red light therapy can help produce melatonin. And I have personally 100,000% seen a difference in how fast I fell asleep, in the quality of my sleep when I use this at night. So I would rather, it's just very relaxing, okay? I put it on, I lay down in my bed for 10 minutes and I do nothing <laughs> for 10 solid minutes. Let me pull my hair back. It is in this part of my routine that I do my red light therapy. Now, again, they recommend it five times a week. I wash my hair two times a week, so the easiest thing for me is to just, the nights I wash my hair, I don't use red light. That's how I figure it out, but whatever works for you, they do recommend it five nights a week. There have also, well, I was gonna say there have been studies. There has been one study shown, and it's been quite a while ago, that using some type of green tea before red light therapy or green tea product before red light therapy will enhance the effects of red light therapy tenfold. You are gonna have some people say that using anything beforehand is gonna cause it to not penetrate as far. That is a personal choice. I find using a green tea toner beforehand has been great. I already had this in my skincare collection. So, so I use my Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. And I just take that on a cotton pad and put it on like any other toner. It sinks in really fast. I kind of let it dry down a little bit. Another reason I love this is because it's so compact in that little travel case that I do travel with it. I have gone to a couple of weekend trips and you best believe I took this with me and laid in my hotel bed for 10 minutes and did my red light therapy. So you connect it to the mask, put the mask on, there's that strap in the back. I don't use the goggles. I typically am laying down and have, isn't this cute? Have um, my eyes closed. So I'm gonna use this for 10 minutes, turn it on, and I will be right back. Okay, I am finished with my 10 minutes. This shuts off automatically after 10 minutes. I will just wipe, wipe it down with um, like a light soap and water washcloth or an alcohol wipe, put it back in the bag, and I'm good to go until the next time I need to use it. Now, there are some people who fear that they can't use red light if they have hyperpigmentation, and there may be a cause to not use that because it could possibly exacerbate the hyperpigmentation. However, I have heard many people say they have it, and it actually helps with it. I have a small spot that has come up over here, and I feel like it's actually gotten better using red light. I do have a little indentation from the nose piece. That happens sometimes. It goes away in like 10 or 15 minutes. And finally, one main positive that I have seen from this already, because I do think that consistent use, use of red light takes probably well over six months to see a huge difference in your skin. So I can't attest to that. It certainly has not hurt it. It's relaxing. I love it. And I do think there are too many studies about it to negate that it works. But something that I have seen as a positive reaction is my eyelashes have looked so good since using this. And I started seeing it and I'm like, what is going on? My eyelashes look so much better, I don't get it. And then I Googled, does red light help with eyelash growth? And there's been studies that show that it does. And so I'm like, sweet, that's just an added bonus. So it's at this stage that I will move on with my serums. Five nights a week, I use retinol of some sort, tretinoin or retinaldehyde. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. 
two nights a week, I exfoliate. And I will either use my Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I just finished my last one of my other box. So I'm gonna be opening this one the next time I use it. Or I use my Neogenesis Mandelic Acid, which is a very gentle exfoliator, but still very effective. And this is a serum 8%. So I will use this or this on the two nights that I exfoliate. So I end up using each of these once a week. After I use these, I will use my Epionce Intense Defense Serum, eye cream and moisturizer, and that is it. This is an all-in-one serum. It has vitamins A, B, C, D, and E. It's fabulous if you're a minimalist in your skincare routine and just want one serum. I highly recommend this, and I love pairing it on my exfoliating nights. I just feel like they really work well together. So I will use an exfoliator, this, moisturize, and that's it. On my retinol nights, this is what I do. I start out using a newer serum to me. This is from Dermatology and it is the Needleless Serum. This has a lot of good ingredients. It's got a lot of good humectants in it, multiple ceramides, cholesterols, hyaluronic acid, glycerin. It has all of these very hydrating ingredients and it also contains copper peptides. Now, copper peptides are not new to the skincare game, but I feel like they're getting more and more green time. They're talked about more and more. Some people even say they're better, better than retinols. I don't necessarily know that I agree with that, but I don't think it hurts. I've never used copper peptides, so I wanted to start out with this one, and then I will probably go to the Neod Copper Peptide Serum after that because I feel like it has even more copper peptides in it less humectants and just more of like the really active ingredients. But I wanted to try this one out first and kind of stair step my way in. I do need to hydrate my skin, so I'm gonna spray it with my Osmosis Infuse Mist, which is basically fulvic minerals. And then I take about a half a dropper full of the Needleless Serum. It's very watery. I'm gonna press this in to my face and neck. I have had no adverse reactions using this on my retinol nights. You are not supposed to mix this with the L-exorbic acid form of vitamin C. So if you wanna use this in the morning, just make sure you don't use that. I have heard it's okay with derivatives, but not with the pure form. I just choose to use it at night because I feel like it fits in my routine great that way. So Dermatology Needleless Serum. And then the next thing I do is really investigate my skin, okay? I think about what do I need for my skin? Does it need extra hydration? Do I need more actives? Do I need anything? Does it need a break? Do I just need to leave it alone? And I really change up my routine nightly in this step. Most of the time, it always includes the Osmosis Rescue Epidermal Repair Serum. This is one of my very favorite serums. It is so good for inflammation in the skin, for redness in the skin. I've gone through countless bottles of this and will continue to because I love it. I will often mix this with something. And because it is dry outside, my heat is on, it's very cold, there is always a need for extra hydration this time of year. So I really rotate through adding probably three serums, but they really all have the same purpose. The Ionic Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum, I have found that I like beta glucan better than pure hyaluronic acid. I feel like it's better at hydrating my skin. Really love this. This is a Korean skincare brand and it is very affordable. The Polish Choice Repairing Serum, with ceramides and beta-glucan. If you notice, there's going to be a theme because ceramides are very, very hydrating. Beta-glucan is very, very hydrating. And when you put them together in a serum, it is, you guessed it, very, very hydrating. <laughs> and this is actually part of the Calm line. I really enjoy this. And then the Color Science All Calm Multi-Correction Serum is really good if you have compromised skin. It has a lot of calming ingredients in it. It also helps with redness. It's also got hydrating ingredients. So all three of these are great. I think I'm going to mix the Rescue and the Ionic Beta Glucan. So I'm gonna take a pump of Rescue, about a third of a pipette of the Beta Glucan, and then I am going to mix some of the Infuse Mist. And this is just a shot 
a barrier health right here and just hydration. I'm going to feel it on the skin, but it also doesn't sit on top of the skin. It sinks in really nicely and you can feel it doing its job. Really, really, really recommend beta glucan as an ingredient. If you feel like hyaluronic acid just didn't cut it for you and your dryness is still there, or if you're a tretinoin user and you have issues with flaking, I feel like this is fabulous. Now I will go in with my eye cream, which is currently the Elastin Restorative Eye Treatment, one of my very favorite eye creams of all time. I use about a half a pump. Just tap it around the eye area. You can do this before your serums as well, but I just have always done it in this step. Now I'm going to use my moisturizer and I also ordered this with the same Dermatology order where I got the Needleless Serum. And this is the Dermatology Soothe and Recovery Cream. Can you sense a theme? I really want recovery. I want hydration. This has it. I'm going to see the ingredient callouts. It has cactus, extra, cactus extract, um, smart sugar, yeast extract, vitamin E, Isabolo, probably not pronouncing that right, allotoin, provitamin B5. It has glycerin. Again, ceramides. I'm seeing three different ceramides. I mean, you just cannot go wrong with all of those ingredients. And I really, really, really like this cream because it is super hydrating, but it is not thick. It sinks in really nicely. It does not leave a film on your face. It really is so nice. I have really, really been liking this Soothe and Recovery Cream. I am gonna use a neck cream. I don't always, sometimes I take my serums down my neck and then just take my moisturizer down my neck, but I've been using the Neofirm Neck and Decollete Tightening Cream from Neocutis. And it's in one of these like, just the right amount push jars. And I use this on my neck and decollete. At this point, I will use some kind of lash serum. I have been using the Revitalash Cosmetics Advanced Sensitive Eyelash Conditioner, which I really like. I never had any adverse reactions to the first eyelash conditioner. However, I do feel like my eyelids are a little less red using this one, but I still feel like otherwise it is the exact same. I use this three times a week, and then this one is the anti -age Overnight Lash Serum. This one has prostaglandins in it. Some people are not okay with using that, and that's fine if that's your choice. This one does not. I think you're gonna get the best results using this one, but I have seen good maintenance results, if you wanna say that, using this one four nights a week and this one three nights a week. So it's just giving you two options depending on what ingredients you're wanting to use in your eyelash conditioner. And I will just run right there on my lash line. And that coupled with that red light gives me fabulous lashes. Now you're probably wondering where in the world is the tretinoin? And you would be wondering, right, I'm doing it a little bit differently now. And I'm doing my whole routine like this. I'm going about my night, which I'm going to do. Have y'all seen my new glasses? finally went to the optometrist and had to get glasses. So if I have to read or do anything in front of the computer, this is what I have to wear. But I'm gonna, gonna go on and do the rest of my stuff. I'm gonna wrap some Christmas presents and probably in about, I don't know, one to two hours, I'm gonna come back on and use my tretinoin right before bed. It's just a different way to apply it. It is not any less effective using it this way, but I just find that I get less irritation personally using it this way. So I'm going to come back in a couple of hours, but for you, just a couple of minutes. And I'm going to go over my retinol choices and apply my tretinoin. Okay. It's been a couple of hours since I did all the rest of my skincare. So my final step is to use my retinol product. So I have two that I rotate through. I have my tretinoin, which is what I'm using tonight. This is from Curology that they are a company where you will get paired up with a dermatology provider. They will analyze your skin. You will send them pictures and they will compound a cream for you based on your skin needs and goals. So mine is tretinoin 0.07%. That's what I've been at for a while. It's what I'm going to stick to because it works for me. Azelaic acid 5%, niacinamide 4%. Now I alternate this with the Medicaid Crystal Retinal. This is a retinal to hide, which is one step down from a tretinoin, one step up from a retinol. 
I have absolutely no irritation with this. They have many different strengths. I am currently at the Crystal Retinol 10. I reached out to them via Instagram when I first wanted to incorporate this in my routine and told them that I was very well versed in Tret, my skin was used to it, and they still recommended that I started out with six. So I went through a full tube of the strength number six, and then I went up to 10. They also have a 20, but I really like 10. I'm probably gonna stick with it. In fact, I do have a backup of this and I just repurchased 10, because you can see I'm almost out of this. In the case that I use this, I will put it into my routine. So I will use the copper peptides, I will use this, then I will use my rescue and any hydrating products I need, eye cream, moisturizer, and I'm good to go. But I have been using my Tret, like I used in this video where I wait a couple of you know hours, if I have time. If I don't have time, then I will incorporate it into my routine. I just feel like this has really helped dial down the irritation. I don't flake this way. It also could have something to do with all of the really good hydrating ingredients I'm using in other areas of my routine, but it's working for me. So I take one pump. More is not more when it comes to tretinoin cream. That's why I like the pump that Curology has because I never use too much. One pump and I apply it all over my face. Now, I do not apply this on my neck because I will peel on my neck. The first time I did apply it on my neck thinking it'll be okay, I mean, I was having sheets <laughs> of skin. So I will use some other kind of retinol to hide or retinol product on my neck. This is the gold standard. Some people don't wanna use it. If you don't wanna use it, I highly recommend the Medicaid. But if you do, I recommend starting with a tretinoin. It has many, many, many years of studies behind it. It has many, many, many results. As a result of those studies, it's just great. Now, the very last thing that I do is put on some lip balm and I'm using my Laneige Peppermint, which was a special edition holiday. And this is one of the minis, which I absolutely love. So that's it. That is my aging gracefully over 40 skincare routine. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it seems very intense, but when I'm not talking 500 miles a minute about each step, it goes fairly quickly. It's very relaxing to me. I'm loving the red light and it's working. For me, I really enjoy how my skin is looking right now and I will continue to incorporate all of these products for many months and years to come. So be sure and check out the description box. I will have all of the links and codes if I have any. I think I put it on the screen, but I forgot to mention, I do have a code for the LED mask. So I will have all of that information down below. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.